ഹായ് പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട കുട്ടികളെ നിങ്ങളില്ലാതെ ഏകദേശം ഒന്നര മാസമായി ഈ ക്യാമ്പസ് ക്ലാസ് റൂമുകൾ ഉറങ്ങിക്കിടക്കുന്ന ക്ലാസ് റൂമുകളും ക്യാമ്പസും അതിനിടയിൽ നിങ്ങളെ ലൈവാക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയാണ് ഇത്തരം ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ നമ്മൾ നടത്തുന്നത് അതിൽ ഇന്ന് ഞാൻ എടുക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് സെക്കൻഡ് സെമസ്റ്റർ ബി എ ഹിസ്റ്ററി സ്റ്റുഡൻസിനുള്ള തിയറട്ടിക്കൽ പാർട്ട് ആയ ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം എന്ന തിയറിയെക്കുറിച്ച് വിച്ച് ഈസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡഡ് ഇൻ ദി തേർഡ് മൊഡ്യൂൾ ഓഫ് ദയർ പേപ്പർ ട്രെൻഡ്സ് ഇൻ ഹിസ്റ്റോറിയോഗ്രാഫി ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ വട്ട് ഈസ് മീൻ ബൈ ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം വട്ട് ഇറ്റ് സിംപ്ലി ഇൻറ്റൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഹു വേർ ദി പ്രൊപ്പോണൻസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് തിയറി how it applied in asian countries how the imperialist scholars or the colonial historians tried to identify indian society on the basis of this theory and all these things we have to discuss in this topic engeyana indian society colonial historians നോക്കി കാണാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചിരുന്നത് എന്നതിനുള്ള ഒരു ഉത്തമ ഉദാഹരണമാണ് ഇന്ത്യൻ സൊസൈറ്റി ഓർ ദി ഏഷ്യൻ സൊസൈറ്റി വിച്ച് വാസ് പിക്ചറൈസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദീസ് വെസ്റ്റേൺ സ്കോളേഴ്സ് ആസ് എ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിക് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ദി ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം ഓർ ദ തിയറി ഓഫ് ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം ഇറ്റ് വാസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഏർലിയസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് മോസ്റ്റ് പ്രിവലൻറ്റ് നോഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഡിഫറൻസസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഈസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് വെസ്റ്റ് just for differencing east and west that these scholars tried to consider this asian society or the eastern society as a despotic one and they called it as oriental despotism and also there is another uh, theory asiatic mode of production the theories oriental despotism and asiatic mode of production they are two forms of social systems that existed in asian countries according to these scholars asian society pradinidhanam cheyyunnadinu vendi european scholars introduce cheyda alengil avare idine nokki kaanan vendi കൊണ്ടുവന്ന ഒരു തിയറിയാണ് ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അവരുടെ കാഴ്ചപ്പാടിൽ ഈസ്റ്റും വെസ്റ്റും തമ്മിലുള്ള ഏറ്റവും പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട വ്യത്യാസം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഈ ഈസ്റ്റിലെ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിക് നേച്ചറാണ് എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് അവരതിന് വിളിക്കുന്ന പേരാണ് ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഈ ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസവും ഏഷ്യാറ്റിക് മോഡ് ഓഫ് പ്രൊഡക്ഷനും ഏഷ്യൻ കൺട്രീസിൽ നിലനിന്നിരുന്ന രണ്ട് സോഷ്യൽ സിസ്റ്റംസ് ആയിട്ടാണ് കണക്കാക്കുന്നത് ഇതിൻ്റെ കൂടെ തന്നെ മറ്റൊന്നുകൂടെ കാൾ എ വിറ്റ്ഫോ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സ്കോളർ ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഹൈഡ്രോളിക് സൊസൈറ്റി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ട് ഏഷ്യൻ സൊസൈറ്റി ഒരു ഹൈഡ്രോളിക് സൊസൈറ്റി ആയിരുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടുള്ള ഒരു തിയറി കൂടെ അദ്ദേഹം ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യാൻ ശ്രമിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ ഈ ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന തിയറി ഇതിൻ്റെ പ്രൊപ്പൗണ്ടേഴ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഹു ദി പ്രൊപ്പൗണ്ടേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് തിയറി ഏളിയർ ദിസ് തിയറി വാസ് പെട്ട് ഫോർവേഡ് ബൈ ആഡം സ്മിത്ത് കാൾ മാക്സ് ആൻഡ് ജെയിംസ് മിൽ ആൻഡ് ഈവൻ ദോ ദേ വേർ ദി പ്രൊപ്പൗണ്ടേഴ്സ് ഓർ ഈവൻ ഈവൻ ദോ ത്രൂ them that this theory was in, uh, came into existence uh, it was popularized by another scholar named Carl A Wittfogel and these scholars uh, Adam Smith Carl Marx James Mill and also Carl A Wittfogel they characterized the Asian society as a despotic state power or Asian Uh, countries as despotic state power they try to consider this asian society as a despotic state power our asian society a or a despotic state പവർ ആയിട്ടാണ് കാണാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് വാക്സിൻ ഇൻ്റർപ്രിട്ടേഷനിലൂടെ കോൾമാക്സും അതിനുശേഷം കൊളോണിയൽ ഇൻ്റർപ്രിട്ടേഷനിലൂടെ ജെയിംസ് മില്ലും കാണാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചതിനെ കാൾ എ വിറ്റ്ഫോഗലാണ് അതിനെ പോപ്പുലറൈസ് ചെയ്യാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചത് എന്ന് വേണം നമ്മൾ കാണാൻ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം ഇറ്റ് വാസ് കോൺട്രാസ്റ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ദി വെസ്റ്റേൺ യൂറോപ്യൻ ഫോംസ് ഓഫ് കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷണൽ ഓ ദി ലിബറൽ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷണൽ ഗവൺമെൻറ്റ്സ് ഈ ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് കോൺ contrasted with the western european forms of governments oriental despotism western european forms of government ne contrast adinu vairudhyatmakamayi nila konda oru theory aanu oriental despotism ennu parayunnathu and they this the, uh, the uh, theorists they try to analyze these western european 
forms of governments or it was kind of these forms of governments they considered as a constitutional government or the liberal constitutional government and the Asian governments were against this. That was their concept. That is, Western European countries governments are constitutional governments are liberal constitutional governments are the same as Asian countries are the despotic nature of government are the concept of these theories. These scholars are the theory of the world. And why it was contrasted? Why this Asian uh, Asian countries were contrasted or Asian governments were in contrast to West European countries. That also they mentioned. They stated that the temperature, the climate and the small sized countries who were produced hard working freedom loving people. They generated republican or constitutional monarchic form of government in Asian countries according to them. Avaru parayinnadu idane ee temperature Asian countries le temperature why avaru parayinnoru kaaryam why this despotic governments were existed in these countries and just for this they gave an answer that the temperature the climate and the small sized countries which were existed in this Asian Asia they produced hard working freedom loving people at the same time they generated republican or constitutional monarchist form of government uh, in, uh, in contrast to the western European forms of constitutional or liberal constitutional forms of government. And what were the peculiarities or peculiarities or what were the main difference that existed in between the Western European countries and the Asian countries? They stated that it was the absence of private property and civil society. These were seen as decisive factor in accounting the differences according to these scholars. Decisive factory, difference lay yet two decisive factors in the parayana the absence of private property. Or a private property absence, other part than a civil society of Hama. Here and the carrying alane, Ivade and then a two million different site, Nella Nilkana the Anana Parana. And according to them, there existed autocratic kings in these Asian countries, and these autocratic kings who produced this oriental despotism, according to them. In the Asian countries, the autocratic governments are not the same. The autocratic governments are not the same. The autocratic governments are not the same. The autocratic kings are not the same. The oriental despotism is introduced in the same And as regards the popularization of theory, as we discussed earlier, it was called a Wittfogel. Carl A. Wittfogel, who was a member of the Frankfurt School of Critical Theory. He popularized this theory of oriental despotism even though it was introduced by Adam Smith and it was followed by or introduced or it was followed by Adam Smith, Karl Marx and also other scholars. It was popularized by Carl A. Wittfogel who was a member of the Frankfurt School of Critical Theory. Frankfurt School of Critical Theory le member aya Carl A. Wittfogel aane e theory e popularize edudu. Adam Smith modhil ingotu verunna Karl Marx thodangi ivar ellavarum thanne parayan shramicha adivarayidan shramicha e theory e kududal popularize aaki maatiyathu Carl A. Wittfogel ennu parayunna Frankfurt School of Critical Theory le scholar aanu and he was an expert of Chinese civilization and also he studied lot on this Chinese civilization and uh, his fame that uh, largely rests on the dispute that NK engendered in his concept of oriental despotism and also the analysis of the so called hydraulic society. Even though the Chinese civilization expert on a other padanangal dharalam nadatti a vekti on a engel kuda they think the fame in the parayana the other e or a dispute oriental despotism in the parayana our concept Hydraulic society in the Parayana, a year and the concept in the analysis Ludayane, call a wit fogel in the Parayana scholar, a tomb could the popular eye, Marana. They think a monumental work, one of the monumental work of this call a wit fogel that was oriental despotism, a comparative study of the 
total power which was published in the year 1957. Through in this work that he tried to analyze these theories and also he uh, tried to analyze the theory of Asiatic mode of production also. But uh, even though this also he analyzed the most important concepts which he, we, he analyzed were oriental despotism and also the so called hydraulic society. Oriental despotism, a comparative study of total power in the law. Ayrthitolarthi Ambathi published the work Anangil Kudi. Adeham etum could the popular as I mar another. Adeathinde ear and theory analysis Ludean. Oriental despotism in the Parina theory Ludem, Madepolatane, Asian society could analyze a and Vendia. Adeham it you see the hydraulic society in the concept. Ear and the concept Ludeana, Adeham could the popular as I mar another. Adeham. The theory starts in the Max Weber China culture Marxist analysis. Not a theater Max Climax or Marxist analysis. China Kurchum, indeed, uh, indeed hydraulic bureaucratic official state in the Kurchum, Max Weber Nadatia, or a Marxist analysis in the base Ludeane, Adeham Thunder worker. He started his work from the Marxist analysis of the idea of Max Weber on China and also on India's hydraulic bureaucratic official state, and also the building on Marx's skeptical view of Asiatic mode of production. This theory is Max Weber day, Marxist analysis. This theory This is a hydraulic bureaucratic official state. This is a Marxist analysis. Max Weber is a Marxist analysis. That is the analysis. analysis. Skeptical view aya Asiatic mode of production okay. Idine idindi ok base le start cheyido konda Oriental despotism satine adheham analyze and sirami And he gave more emphasis on the role of irrigation works, the bureaucratic structures. Uh, and he stated that the bureaucratic structures that needed to maintain uh, this kind of irrigation works and uh, despotic nature. And uh, what was the impact that these uh, bureaucratic structures and these irrigation works which were made by irrigation works done by the kings of these Asian countries uh, that made on this society. In the can uh, uh, irrigation works. The Asian countries introduce the irrigation works, public irrigation system. That is a bureaucratic structure. This bureaucratic structure is an impact on society. He coined a term which was known as hydraulic empire. He used this term hydraulic empire to describe this system. This system is that the Asian countries like Raja Kanmare, our introduce a public irrigation system. That is called that bureaucratic structures. Either uh, law maintain Cheya Mendi, but autocratic system maintain Cheya and Wendy. Public irrigation system maintain Cheya and Wendy. Our maintain Cheya the bureaucratic structure. Either in the impact on a society Lunda Kia the in the Ladine, either a Kurche, either a concept in a coin Cheya and Wendy, Adeham, E. Sister Thine, coin uh, mention Cheya and Wendy, call a Whitfogel, you say the term on a hydraulic empire in the Ladder. In the latter term. And with Fogel, he viewed that many societies, mainly in Asia, they relieved uh, heavily on the building of large scale irrigation works. And to do this, uh, he stated that mainly in Asia, many societies, mainly in Asia, they gave more importance to building uh, large scale irrigation works. And just for uh, building this large scale irrigation works, the state had to to organize forced labor, the state had to organize forced labor from the population at large. And just for organizing this forced labor, they required a large and bureaucratic staff. 
by competent and illiterate officials. That was his concept. They are saying that Asian countries, the particular Asian countries, the average, the two or three of them, society, Asian society, the two or three of them, importance of that, the irrigation work, the kind of them, the irrigation work, the kind of maintain, the kind of them, the state, the value of that, the forced labor. इंट्रोड्यूसे ये एंडी वेरी में नल्ला दम ये फोर्स रूले अपर जनंगल डे डेल ने इन्दत अन्य का अवरे में इंदा न ऑर्गेनाइज़े ये एंडी वेरी में नम इधो ऑर्गेनाइज़े चे यान वेंडी उरी वाली अ ब्यूरोक्रेटिक सेटअप पावड़े आवश्य माने इन्दम ये ब्यूरोक्रेटिक सेटअप ने वेंडी इटे अलरे Crush the civil society. Civil society crush ये आना नहीं था सहायकी का एन नाना देहम पारे ना था और जो any other force capable of mobilizing against this. That was also another important impact on this. And such a state, according to him, that would be inevitably a despotic, powerful, stable and wealthy state. That was his concept. If there are three or four systems, then there can be a public irrigation work. Or there can be a force of labor. That would be the first thing. 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 आ स्टेट और एक डेस्पोर्टिक अलग ही इतने मुझे सिस्टम ने लंदर तुम देने आ स्टेट और एक डेस्पोर्टिक स्टेट आय रीकराम और एक पावरफुल स्टेट आय रीकराम और एक स्टेबल स्टेट आय रीकराम अपन दाने और एक वेल्पी स्टेट तो माय रीकराम इन लगा दाने कार एविट फोगले पारे ये ना दे अदे हम इतने पॉपुलराइज़ है याना नुस्रा में किन्दे इन्हें नमले ये वाला आईडी इड ओरिजिनल कुर्चे पारे ना समय इत विट्फो के लो एडम स्मिथो कॉलमैक्स कॉलमैक्सो अल्ला इतने इंट्रोड्यूस इधे ये वाला कॉन्सेप्ट डेस्पोर्टिक इन्द पारे ये ना आवेर कॉन्सेप्ट इंट्रोड्यूस as regards the origin of this idea, it was as old as the diversified history in European culture. European culture in the Charitram, Vithisthamaya Samskara Marambikinna, Avada Mudal, Avada Mudal Tane, E. Idea, E. Oriental Despotism in the Parayana, Idea, Arambate Namuk, Noki Kanan Sadikim. And it, uh, we can trace it from Herodotus. And Herodotus, he described the Persian Empire as a despotic and a tyrannical one. And uh, we know who was Herodotus, uh, who was considered as the father of history. In Charitratin de Pidavu and Naria Pedana, Herodotus in the Herodotus in the Kalam Mudal Tane, he terminal term. Or despotism in the Varana language, despotic in the term, Ubayogi can Todangi Tunde in the Ladana Namal Mansla Kenda. And he described the Persian Empire as a despotic and tyrannical one. Persian Empire and a Persian history, the Samet, the Persian Empire, ne, and they have despotic and tyrannical one night on a Kanaka Kitla. And afterwards, Aristotle and some other Greek scholars, they also find such notions. As Asiatic despotism, uh, and they characterized this Asiatic despotism with a servile or uh, the existence of slaves. Servile people or the existence of slaves in contrast to Greece and other European countries. Aristotle stated that in contrast to Greece and other European countries, in the Asiatic countries there existed servile people or slaves. They are saying that Aristotle is a Greek scholar. Asiatic despotism is a notion of the Greek scholar. They are saying that Greece is a European country. Kanata the Pole, Asian countries, where there are servile people, the Dima or Gatine, the Muke, Kanan Sadikim in the Ladane, Avari Parnatala. And after these Greeks, 
uh, it has been stated that uh, this idea that fell into uh, relatively disuse for a long time for a long time korchu kala greek kar aristotle nam mattu greek scholars nam shesham ee oru term inde upayogam korchu koranjathayittu kaanan sadhikkum ennaanu scholars inde abhiprayam but it was revived in the 16th century the usage of this term that was revived in the 16th century by scholars such as machiavelli and also by both in they used this term despotic just to identify the nature of some states and some societies and uh, then then also it was used systematically during the counter reformation catholic uh, counter reformation period and the counter reformation catholic cosmographer named giovanni betro he used this term despotic or despotism in the reformation and counter reformation period and betro he argued that including india the climate the geographical conditions uh, climate and the geographical conditions that made its people weak and servile and it was conducive to the growth of group big empires where autocracy and arbitrary rules that dominated and where there was no respect for private property and civil liberty that was his concept betro argued that betro parand counter reformation cosmographer aya betro adeham argue cheynad the climatic and geographical conditions of asia ഏഷ്യയിലെ ജോഗ്രാഫിക് ആൻഡ് ക്ലൈമറ്റിക് കണ്ടീഷൻസ് അത് അവിടുത്തെ ജനങ്ങളെ വീക്കാക്കാനും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ സെർവായിൽ മറ്റുള്ളവരുടെ അടിമകളാക്കാനും സഹായിച്ചു എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് ഇത് ബിഗ് എംപയേഴ്സിൻ്റെ ഗ്രോത്തിന് കാരണമാവുകയും ഈ ബിഗ് എംപയേഴ്സിലെ ഓട്ടോക്രാറ്റിക് ആർബിറ്ററി റൂള് നിലനിൽക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു എന്നാണ് അദ്ദേഹം പറയുന്നത് ആൻഡ് ദർ വാസ് നോ റെസ്പെക്ട് ഫോർ പ്രൈവറ്റ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ആൻഡ് സിവിൽ ലിബർട്ടി പ്രൈവറ്റ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടിക്കോ സിവിൽ ലിബർട്ടിക്കോ ഒരു റോളും അവിടെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നില്ല എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അദ്ദേഹം പറയുന്നത് ഇതുപോലെ ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഇൻ വേരിയസ് പീരീഡ്സ് വേരിയസ് scholars around the world they used this term despotic in various periods and uh, this term in the case of india this term was used mostly by the colonial authorities and colonial historians or the scholars imperialist scholars they used mostly this term oriental despotism to denote indian state and society ഇതെല്ലാം വേൾഡ് ലെവലിൽ നമ്മൾ പറയുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഇന്ത്യയെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം ഈ ഒരു ടേം ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ യൂസ് ചെയ്തത് കൊളോണിയൽ സ്കോളേഴ്സ് ആണ് എന്നുള്ളത് നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ സാധിക്കും ഇന്ത്യൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റിനെയും സൊസൈറ്റിയെയും ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈ ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിനെ ഏറ്റവും ഇന്ത്യൻ സൊസൈറ്റിയെ ഏറ്റവും താഴ്ത്തിക്കെട്ടുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി അവർ യൂസ് ചെയ്തിരുന്ന ടേമാണ് ഈ ഓറിയൻ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ടേം ഫോർ ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് സ്കോളേഴ്സ് ദ ട്രൈ ടു പ്രൊപ്പഗേറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദ വാസ് ഡെസ്പോ ോട്ടിക് റൂൾ ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഫോർ സെഞ്ചുറീസ് അവർ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതലായിട്ട് പ്രൊപ്പഗേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചത് കൊളോണിയൽ സ്കോളേഴ്സ് ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ പ്രൊപ്പഗേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചത് ഇതായിരുന്നു ഇന്ത്യയിൽ കുറേ സെഞ്ചുറികളായിട്ട് നൂറ്റാണ്ടുകളായിട്ട് നിലനിന്നിരുന്ന ഒരു സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു തരത്തിലുള്ള ഡെസ്പോട്ടിക് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ആയിരുന്നു നിലനിന്നിരുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളത് പറയുന്നുണ്ട് അതിനൊരുപാട് നമുക്ക് തോമസ് റോ വെച്ച് തന്നെ തുടങ്ങുകയാണെങ്കിൽ തോമസ് റോ വീനോ വീനോ തോമസ് റോ വാസ് തോമസ് റോ തോമസ് റോ വാസ് ദി പേഴ്സ് വാസ് ദ റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേറ്റീവ് ഓഫ് ജെയിംസ് പേഴ്സ് of England to the court of Jahangir and uh, this Thomas Roe he conveyed a similar picture of the despotic government in India that existed in India in his letters in 1660 Jahangir Tanne Adeham Eridhiya letter British government like Eridhiya Kattukal Adeham Thomas Roe British government in the representative right British Emperor Raya James I in the representative ായിട്ട് ജഹാംഗീറിൻ്റെ കൊട്ടാരത്തിലേക്ക് വന്ന തോമസ് റോ മീഡിയേറ്ററായും അവിടുത്തെ ഇവിടെ ട്രേഡ് കൺസെഷന് വേണ്ടി അനുവാദം ചോദിക്കാനും ഒക്കെ വേണ്ടി വന്ന ഈ തോമസ് റോ അദ്ദേഹം ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി പതിനാറിൽ തിരിച്ചെഴുതിയ കത്തുകളിൽ പോലും ഇന്ത്യയിൽ നിലനിന്നിരുന്ന ഒരു ഡെസ്പോട്ടിക് ഒരു തരത്തിലുള്ള ഡെസ്പോട്ടിക് ഗവൺമെൻറ്റ്സിനെ കുറിച്ച് അദ്ദേഹം പരാമർശിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഹി എംഫസൈസ് ദാറ്റ് ദർ വാസ് നോ ലോഡ്സ് നോ ലോസ് സോറി ദർ വാസ് നോ ലോസ് നോ ബഡി അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ദി എംപറർ ഓൺ ദ ലാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ദി എംപറർ കുഡ് ടൈക്ക് life and goods at pleasures that was uh, the mention 
which he done in his letters. They are part of the day, emphasize the Kairingal and the Hangir the Kala Namukaria, Mughal Empire and the Kala Gatam. But a Niamangal died in the Lai and Nana de Hemedi, the Polatane, Raja Vinamaya, Chakramartiki Matrame, Bumi Kaivasham, died in the Lo in the Ladam. Emba and the Nade Polatane Raja Vine, Jenangalde, Jeevenum, Ade Polatane, Yella Tarathilla Santo Shangalum, Jeven Jenangalde, Jeven Edicarium, Ade Polatane, Yella Tarathilla Santo Shangalum. Ella Tartra like a luxurious life and Javin a matra mire known died in the day in the Ladum. Ella Sathan Angalum Kaivish and Mekan Lavagasham, Javin a matra may die in the Ladum. Jenangal there was no uh, right to the people. Oh, Ritartilla private property, the Sonda Maya, Bumi Kaivisha Mekano, Sathanangal Kaivisha Mekano, La Dekaramo, Avagashamo, Sadharna Karnaya, General Kundai in the La Yenula, or Ashe, a Mirano Thomas Road, but then the Britain Lake, Ayacha Sunday Shangal Kanan Sadik in the scholars mentioned another birth than a friend, Baranir. Uh, India, one of the most important traveler to India. India, one of the two Pradana Petta, where a traveler on a Franco Francis Bernier in the Parinade. And this Fran Bernier also portrayed a picture of despotic Mughal regime. And uh, what they uh, intended by using this term despotic. That also we have to do. If you are talking about despotic, what is the name of the despotic? What is Thomas Rowe talking about despotic? What is the name of Baranier talking about despotic? What is the name of this? That is the name of the despotic. And uh, in despotic, they consisted of its overtaxing people. Then uh, the other, the despotic rulers who were claiming proprietary rights over all lands. And uh, the despotic rulers who were spending most of its income or earnings on military and luxury. And who possessed arbitrary powers and also the lack of legal and institutional protection to the people in general and also the peasantry in particular. And also the lack of the existence of an independent commercial economy and importantly the lack of private property. All these were the characteristics which they mentioned as the, uh, mentioned as the despotic nature of a state and according to the colonial scholars such a state was existed in the Mughal period period. Avery parayinda than overtaxing. Despotic in the other one colonial rulers. Uh, colonial colonial uh, scholars matra malla matte scholars alla muddeshichade uh, idayirunnu avada overtaxing janangalde mugalil overtaxing aanu undayirunnathu adu pole thanne proprietary ella bhoomigalum kaivaldeyum avagashamaayittu rulers aayirunnu undayirunnathu avarude avashyangalkku vendi military avashyangalkku vendiyum avarude luxurious avashyangalkku vendiyum ishtam da pole anavashyamayi panam chalavalikkeyum adhe pole endana adhigaram muluvan sondamayi kai Private <laughs> Even a Mondascuum, Russo, okay, Mondascu, Russo, sorry, Mondascu, the work girl looking in a despotic nature of state in a Kurzum mentioned chain and Pashe, Voltaire, Mondascu, and a criticized each other, and then a Parayanund. Pasha, they some and then a colonial historian say. Our Parayanade, Asian countries, especially in India, which was their colony. Our colony are in the India, our river in the Mune, where there are the despotic nature. Tane Iron died in the day, despotic baranam Tane Iron, who died in the day, Nana Parana. And they claimed that under these kinds of despotic rulers, Indian society remained a static one or an unchanging one till the entrance of the Europeans or till the entrance of these colonials in India. Indian society was a stagnant one, there was no development in Indian society.
and people had no voice in the administration and all rulers in pre-colonial period were despotic according to this uh, colonial historians uh, and also the imperial authorities. Imperial authorities are uh, colonial historians, imperial scholars are uh, the Indian society uh, 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 despotic uh, stagnant unchanging society administration would you voice some pre colonial period? Le, Jenangal Kundar in the La Jenangal Ker, would you roll Mundar in the La in the Ladam Jenangal the welfare? These despotic rulers they never considered the welfare of the people. Jenangal the welfare in the Parayana, the e rulers in the Urutravadito Marin Lavaka, the Kuchari bothering some Mundar in the La in the Ladane, colonial scholars of Parayans from each other. And Alexander Doe, he declared that all uh, lands in India are considered as the property of the kings and especially the Indian Muslims. They were having no written laws and the emperor who was the absolute owner and sole arbiter in everything. That was his concept. Alexander Doe declared that. And then, uh, in the land of the Raja in the property, especially uh, Indian Muslims in the Muslim rulers in the Kairi at the Nokanangile, Indian Muslims in a written law, Silla in the Ladam, Emperor on a lamb, absolute authority in the Parayana, Emperor on everything was under his control. Elam a death in the control on a in the Ladane. Parana uh, and William Johnson, a polula, endologistic will come same youth and Nana Parana. William Johnson, he thought that the pre British governments in India they were despotic and tyrannous, which resulted in uh, devising of all the uh, faculties uh, and uh, which caused all kinds of. Uh, uh, difficulties to the people. This tarthalal aur tyrannical rule ane India le ndai rinda the pre British period le ane ladam jenengal ki alla tarthalal la buddhi muttegalam unda kia jenengal ko re swathandrivum nalga ta aur e Bharana kuda mai rino pre British kala gatta thale India le ndai rinda the ane ladam ane Indologist chaya William Jones bolum samarthikyan sramicha thay bolta na Charles Grande they had declared that the Eastern governments and in general careless to the interests of their subjects and this is particularly to the truth in the case of the Muhammadan rulers. Muhammadan rulers in the Kariatele, either correct and the Ladam Eastern governments in the Kari of the Kurangil, general at our careless Irono, Sadharna, Jenangal de Avaste Kuruche and the Ladam. Among the Hindus, there had been a complete despotism from the despotic antiquity. Yet, uh, sorry, in the remotest antiquity. That means, yet, um, Padi Kalagata Mudale, Pauraniga Kala Mudal Tana Hindus and a Samanthicher Tolam, our very despotic nature of Barana. Muslim Barana Muhammadan rulers in the Kairam on the Samet Avarum, Jenanga Talperinga Pariganica deula, or a Barana, Sambitana Mani with a culture with Chadam in the Muladuana, Adetinde, culture parchal scrant in the culture parada, they are declaring the Tana Polatana Marks Wilkes. Mark Wilkes in Davi Pratele, there was no civil, the idea of civil liberty that was completely unknown uh, in the East. Uh, and uh, the immemorial despotism to the East is a fact according to him. They are saying that Mark Wilkes are saying that civil liberty and the saying that unknown ayer sangadi ayirno. Ibrada yeshele and that poora thane immemorial despotism. East na samandhi chhar thalam use yena immemorial despotism and the saying that there is a fact ana. Ure vastu de ana and that thana them. Samarthikyan Sramicha, that is what is called James Mill. James Mill is called Ancient Indian Kings. According to James Mill, James Mill believed that Ancient Indian Kings, they were fully supported by the superstitious priests and they ruled over a rude and uncivilized people according to him. And they accumulated all powers in their hands. And it was an absolute form of government tyrannizing over the most slavish population in mind and body. 
That was the concept of James Mill. From antiquity, that is the term Pauranika Kala Mudal Tane, India, Nelanandirana, Barana, Samvidana, Menu Parayana, or a tyrannical one Iron, a lingular despotic one Iron, in the Lade, James Mill, Samartika, and Samikian Jaina. They are Parayana, the ancient Indian kings in the Pauranika, Indian Dajak and Mare, or the Andana. And the Vishwasangal issues, Chirina, or we bagam Panditan married a priest in day, Kayaligal Irenu in the Ladam, Avri Parichir in the day, while a rude aya, uncivilized raya genangal Irenu in the Ladam, Adagunda than a yella, Adhikar angal and Tangalde, Kaigal in Nichita Magan Irenu, Avri, Sremichir in the day in the Ladam, Avri Tiranai say, Avri Tiranai say and Sremichir in the Langa Tiranai say there in the day, most slavish population, et Adimagal aya. Yet, too, a tangled adimagalaya, Sharira Gundam, Manasu Gundam, tangled adimagalaya, Uri Vibagam, Jenangalayanavare, Varikan Sremichir in the day in the Ladamane Parayan Sremicha. Are they both than a Vincent Smith? Uri national disunity are in the Indian society, Undai in the day in the Ladder, Parayan. And he thought that Vincent Smith thought that the national disunity of Indian society and body politics that remained a despotic rule to hold it together. There, were, there existed a dis, uh, there existed disunity in Indian society and uh, there existed the body politics of despotic rulers and this uh, failed to unite this Indian society or Indian people together. That was his concept. In the end, there was a disunity. I can't believe that body politics, despotic rulers, body politics, the Kaigarian Chedirina, or Avasta. Even Avasta Vishatile, in the end, one is a nilkal, while a prayasa mairinu in the Ladana Vincent Smith identified the answer. And he identified the Maurian state itself as a version of oriental despotism and uh, there existed kingship monarchical even though there existed monarchical form of government it was a despotic one and uh, uh, the kingship and the armed force unlike the European monarchy it uh, this was based on the idea of sovereignty kingship kingship of the armed force um, uh, European monarchy the the idea of sovereignty Paramati Karate in the Ashete Naichir in the Kingship of Made Polatan armed force of Mairinu in the Ladane, Adeham Parai in the And Avara Samanthi Chertolam, according to Vincent Smith, for uh, uh, or uh, to Vincent Smith, there was no form of government except the autocratic uh, rule which was suitable to the Indian conditions. Vincent Smith in the culture part of the day, Indian condition, le, Indian society, le, autocratic rule is not possible to do anything like that. Even though all these scholars mentioned on this oriental despotism which was existed in India, as we discussed earlier, it was called a Wittfogel who popularized this theory and he suggested that the society, it was an immobile because the rulers they control the society. Call a bit for Girana Pinidi, Rivadanuta, but Atholati Ambatela, the Hemedia, and a Pustaka Tilude. Your concept oriented despotism in the Parayana concept in a popularized and Sremichadum. At the head in the culture part, he suggested that the society it was a immobile one because the rulers controlled the society. Why this society was an immobile one? Why this society was an unchanging one? In the Gundani society, or unchanging I married. In the Gundani society, or immobile. Mobile, I marry the Nalada, they are parino da, they are parino answer than rulers, they control the society. But at the same time, he stated that there was no slaves or slaves in uh, there was no slaves or serves in pre colonial era as in the European feudal society. European feudal society le pole, but to Paladin Barno in the serve side, Nalangi Asian countries, or that the served them, Naranandirino, the slaves and Dirino, Rajak and Marie, Janangal, slaves in a poly and a country in the day in the Ladaparna Samet, call a bit fogale, bit fogale parayan sremicha and the chale, e society, the Indian society and the Paranalangal, Oriental society and the Parayanada, unchanging one, immobile. 
mobile one ana ennalladu parayunnundu why it was an unchanging one or an immobile one it was because of the uh, control of the rulers over the society rajakanmare thangal thang rajakanmare avarde paramadhigaram upayogichu konde samoohathine control cheyan shramikkayirunnu cheyidade enna adheham parannu pakshe adhe samayam thanne witfogale nerthe mattu pala scholars um parna serfdom ivide nilanninirunnadine kurichu parayunnilla adheham parayunnade european feudal society il nilanninirunnadu pole slaves o serfs o ee indian society lengil pre colonial india il undayirunnilla ennalladana വിറ്റ്ഫോഗലെ കാണാൻ ശ്രമിച്ച ഒരു സംഗതി ഇങ്ങനെ ഇത്തരത്തിലാണ് ഈ ഓറിയൻറ്റൽ ഡെസ്പോട്ടിസം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു തിയറി ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്തു വരുന്നതും പിന്നീട് ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് അധികാരികൾ ഇന്ത്യൻ സൊസൈറ്റിയെ ഒരു അൺസിവിലൈസ്ഡ് സൊസൈറ്റി എന്നുള്ളത് പറയാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇന്ത്യൻ സിവിലൈസ് ഇന്ത്യൻ സൊസൈറ്റി ദീസ് കൊളോണിയൽ സ്കോളേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ എംപീരിയലിസ്റ്റ് അതോറിറ്റീസ് ദ ട്രൈ ടു ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈ ഇന്ത്യൻ സൊസൈറ്റി ആസ് ആൻ അൺസിവിലൈസ്ഡ് ഓർ എ ബാബറിക് വൺ and they considered that it was their duty it was the white man's burden to civilize this society avaru ee or concept vechukonde thanneyanu parnadu indian society or uncivilized aayirunnu pre british period le ennalladum allengil avaru varuna samayathe adu uncivilized society aayirunnu or barbaric society aayirunnu ennalladum aa barbaric society civilize cheya ennalladana white man de etthum pradhana petta burden ennum avaru parayan shramichathu and for many years they tried to consider indian society in such a way and they treated indian people in such a way also avaru indian janangale treat cheyan shramichathum itarathil thanne aayirunnu ingeyana oriental ee or tarathilana oriental despotism ennu parayna theory develop cheyidu varunnu or marxist interpretation lude max weber introduce cheyida or marxian interpretation lude witfogel idine popularize cheyan shramicha theoretical way ലൂടെ എങ്കിലും പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ സെൻസിൽ ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് അതോറിറ്റീസ് ഇത്തരം ഒരു കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഇവിടെ നടപ്പിലാക്കാൻ ശ്രമിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു ചെയ്തത് എന്നുള്ളതാണ് നമുക്ക് കാണാൻ ശ്രമിക്കുന്നത് ഇതോടുകൂടി ഞാൻ ഈ ക്ലാസ് അവസാനിപ്പിക്കുകയാണ് നന്ദി നമസ്കാരം